Well, tonight on the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to revisit uh, the story with Georgia State Representative Misha Maynard. Now, we covered her a few podcasts ago. It was in the news that Sister Misha here decided to leave the Democrat Party and go with the Republican Party. And oh boy, they were upset with her. Oh my Lord. Even Boulay Martin was upset with that sister. Uh, and and we, we knew that because, you know, in America, black people are supposed to have a default setting. Now, you're supposed to have a default way to think, a default way to talk, a default religion, a default uh, party to vote for. They You're supposed to file that in any black person that get out of line. It is hell to pay even with black people. But the good thing is that we have it more and more people who are saying we're not going to be on this default setting for us that we're going to be customized and we're going to do what we need to do for our particular community. We are not going to be going to church and dealing with pastor pork chop because he's not doing nothing for the black community. So that's gone. We are free to think how we want to think. We vote how we want to vote based on what you're doing for black people, period. But, oh, you have to know that the Democrat Party, we talk about American history, the Democrats are actually your original Klan members. So when black people do something that they don't like, we talk about the Democrats, I want you to see how the original Klan members respond to Sister Misha in emails. We, let's, let's go through this. And I had, to, um, I had to amend a lot of this stuff because some of the language was so vile. So let's go ahead and and look at it. So let's look at the first one. It said, I would like to to help your, you know, uh, black, and it said a word there by telling you that saying you would support any candidate picked by the GOP during the primary is, and saying that other word, it said not only is that word, you live up to the word, and it says the N word there, by just following blindly. Remember, you were a Democrat and felt abandoned to become Republican. Now you're going to follow blindly like you did with your party. You're the stain on the society that needs to be flushed. I wish you the absolute worst in your political history. You uncle Tom. Now listen, this is a Democrat that's talking this way, folks. This is the Democrats. Now I thought they told us that that they were our friends. Let's go to the next one. It says, what concerns you? What are your priorities? And it says, you're, you dumb and said the word on Jemima mother F a traitor. It said, I will be sure to take a good chunk of my retirement savings, which is substantial and will donate it to whoever will be running against you. You self-hating black. And it said the N word and the B word. Remember these are Democrats. That's talking this way, folks. These are Republicans. It say, oh, you'll see come 2024 how I will help to make sure you are defeated. Go run in a Republican Confederate district that loves self-hating and it said the N-word like you. Once again, these are Democrats, not Republicans. That's talking to her like this. Well, I thought Democrats were our friends. Well, you get I'm glad she's posted all this. Let's go to the next one. It's it, look at the name up here. It said, what concerns you? What are your priorities? It said this B word and it's talking about killing ourselves. Now they said convincing conservatives and their dip. Well, you see that children to commit. And then of course, unalive, it say is the greatest service someone could offer to humanity. So, okay. You may disagree with people's politics, but this is what Democrats are saying about the other side's children. And this is the party that, that y'all say is supposed to be for black people. This the people that talk this way. I mean, come on now, but, but how many times you heard people say about that particular party, how they always involved with a uh, 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 human trafficking of children, but, but let's, let's go. The next one, you, you say N word to B word. You need to get back on the plantation for master Stacy with show uh, back in the shape you need to stop eating your fried chicken and watermelon with Vernon Jones and get back Miss Nat Turner. Okay. 
Let's look at this next one. Um, I need, I was in the shower earlier. Y'all spirit chuckers need showers. You stink. Now really, really come on now. Don't have me go there. I was just in the gym today. Y'all one of them was in the gym. Jesus Christ. That dude smell like, you know, Oh my God. I never smelled a smell like that before in my life. I had to get away. I mean, that, that was a stench. I mean, but you talking about somebody taking showers anyway. That's why segregation is ordained by the Bible. Don't tell me that you're sorry. I feel this way. This isn't what I feel. This is what I know. And then they said at the bottom, all that is the N words are good for is giving. And you know, that dumb word they use for uh, a man's phallus. It said not representing us in a legislature. It said you dumb silverback mammy. Once again, these are Democrats folks, Democrats. Let's go to the next one. It said that you stupid chocolate jab of the hut looking. And they called her, um, the word, you know, the word jigaboo, they called her that. And they use it, you know, for other word they use with a C what they call it. They use that word. We don't use that word. It said, you don't belong in the government. You belong in the fields picking cotton or in my kitchen, cooking and cleaning my floor. Go back to Haiti. They say the RNC will, won't pay you in fried chicken, menthols, rice, crispy treats, watermelon, or weed. The Klan shall wipe the floor with your, and you know what? Now let's, let's look at the last one. They say here, I am very concerned that you are a MAGA slave bowing your head down to your master, Donald Trump It's very shameful. What you hippo monkeys will do. Once you get money, you spend it all on drugs, chicken and Maseratis. You're a welfare queen and I'm sick of darks like you gaming this system. It says by putting you in a camp to re-educate you and to de inward fight you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was Democrats responding to representative Misha Maynard leaving their party. And trust me, that is who they are. They, they get so angry. Even look at the, the Democrat shields who are black. They get so angry when we do something different. When we think for ourselves, we don't toe the Democrat line. When we just said, we gonna sit it out. We ain't voting for a Democrat or a Republican. It don't matter what we do. They are upset if you don't go show up a Democrat. Now in the 2022 midterms, a lot of black people didn't show up. And they always worrying about us showing up to vote. They don't go talk about Latinos showing up. They don't talk about Asians showing up. They don't talk about the illegals showing up. They don't talk about nobody showing up to vote. Just us. Like we are the only people in this country that should go out and vote. And what we're saying is we know how racist you are. See, at one point in time, we were actually conned to think it was just the Republicans and oh man, we got to get the Democrats in there because you know, uh, they're not racist like the Republicans, but as people have found out over the years that you're worse than Republicans because you just better at deceiving and conning black people, but you feel the exact same way. That sounds just like Nick Fuentes talking, but they were Democrats. You understand that sound like Richard Spencer talking, but that's Democrats that's talking in this manner. How is the Democrats better? Then you have black folks that come to my page and tell me, feel the Democrats, they, they are better than the Republicans. Were the Republicans? What I haven't seen, she ain't posting no emails from the Republicans. The moment she said she's going over there with them, where's the emails? I'll, I'll talk about it. Where's the emails? They were calling her all kind of vile racial names. Just because she chose to walk away from a particular party that does nothing for black people. See when she talks about, Hey, black people can't read. They're not doing nothing for black people. They taking all this money and giving it to, to, to the border or are they giving it to Ukraine. What about the black community? Right? You should be applauding her for saying that. But no, the Democrats don't want us to have nothing. The only thing they want you to do is get your behind up on election day or early voting, go over there and, and check Democrat on every person, no matter what they think, just straight Democrat ticket. That, that's what they want you to do and go your behind home and we'll see you in uh, another two years. But black people is becoming a problem because black people are saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We are we, enough is the dog on enough. You got this open check to Ukraine. You letting people flood this country 
you now putting them in our neighborhoods. You put them in, in, in buildings and schools that you said that we couldn't have, but now they come over here and, and they get in there. You, you are giving them a bag of our money, but yet you got American citizens homeless on the streets. They are, they're homeless. They can't eat anything, but you got people that just coming into this country, got a place to stay like in New York. You stay at the row hotel while homeless people are sleeping on the street. And the row hotels around Times Square area. So, and I've been to Times Square a few months ago. Okay, I stayed at the Marriott Marquis, nice hotel in Times Square. You got homeless people out there, but they around the corner in the row. They can just break our laws, come in, no issue, no problem, and get put up at a hotel. And that hotel is being paid by the federal government. They're not doing nothing for free. Or they're being paid by state money too. Everybody getting a bag off of this, but black Americans tell them to put up the black Americans that's on the street in New York, put them in the row or they won't do that. You black people, you can stay out there. 56% of the homeless people in New York is black. And in Chicago, what they say? 72 to 73% of the homeless population in Chicago are black. But yeah, you're part, but the Democrats prioritize everybody else, but not homeless black Americans. See, see that, see that, that's what we are talking about. And they have no answers. They have no answer for when we talk like this. But you want to get mad that black folks are leaving? More and more black folks going to leave. Because I tell you what, the more and more they listen to this podcast, they're going to leave. I promise you that. Because if they listen to me day in, day in and day out, all they got to do is not just listen to me, just think about what I'm saying. Just look at what I'm presenting you. I'm showing you things in real time. I'm not just talking and giving a commentary. I'm always going to give some, some visual aid, something. Now we still got a section of people in our community who like, well, if we go vote Republican, that ain't good either. It's not about it being good. It's not about it being bad. I, I told all y'all this. I'm going to repeat this again for the people who didn't get it. I just don't want you to get your vote to Democrat. So if you want to say I'm sitting it out, I ain't voting for now. One of them. Hey, you didn't give your vote to Democrats. That's good with me. If you say I'm going to do a protest vote to spite the Democrats, you can do that. And that's good with me too. Just don't get, don't reward the Democrat party with our votes. Why, why do, why, why representative Misha Maynard has to be an uncle Tom? Why? Cause she don't want to vote, go with y'all. What has she actually done? And you can say, yeah, man, she really been selling out. They can't point to anything. I heard on Boulay's video, one of the people, the Democrat people over there, well, she didn't go to, to these meetings that we had. What is the meetings going to be about? I wouldn't go to a meeting either. There's nothing productive going to come out of the meeting. What's the point of going to a meeting? Yeah, that's, that's what Boulay like to do. Boulay Martin, he like to go to meetings and luncheon so he can, so he can get him a free meal. That's what he like to do. Maybe that sister don't want to go no, no freaking meeting with nothing that's productive. You, you have more productivity at that state capitol. Or you trying to get a bill put up, trying to get something passed. Well, doing what? what? What are you doing at the meeting? It's not like he's saying, well, she missed out on some, you know, some things we did in the community. It's nothing about that. These people, like I said, as you, if we keep getting inch closer and closer and closer to 2024, and like I said, that time is flying by, ladies and gentlemen, we already in, with the midpoint of July. They're going to be just trying to do everything they can to trick black people. Look, Biden just did this, this student loan relief. And he thinking people are silly. The people like, Oh my God. Yes. And only 800,000 people qualify for it. And they had to be paying their student loans for over 20 to 25 years. So if you're a person that just got out of college and thought that Biden was going to forgive your stuff, you're stuck paying it. You're stuck. Now, my position on student loan deal. And I've said this before you chose that loan. You should be paying it. If you couldn't afford it, then maybe you should have went to the community college or got a scholarship where they would have paid for your school. But if you, but if you want to go the route of student loans, okay, get your student loan, get your great career and pay for it. Like everybody else has to pay their loans. That's how I feel about it personally, but they're trying everything they can. So you, you will hear more and more about these reparations commissions come up in these different Democrat areas. Oh yeah. We're going, we're going to set up a commission to study reparations because they know that we don't want to hear nothing else right now. We don't want to hear nothing about no civil rights. 
We don't right now. We don't want to hear it because there's the time you talk about civil rights is it's the LGBT benefiting from it. DACA and everybody else. Affirmative action knows we ain't lose our mind about that. And that's what they shocked about. They, oh my Lord, black people, they didn't care about the affirmative action decision. No, there's actually black people that agree with the affirmative action decision because it doesn't benefit us. See everything the Democrat party has been using over the years to con us to vote for them is falling by the wayside. And that's good. That is good. And that is so beautiful. That is falling by the wayside. See, when you have truth and you have a lie, the truth always going to defeat the lies and defeat the falsehoods. It is bottom line. We had to have some tangibles. It's just that simple. We need lineage based reparations. You can use the term reparations all day, but lineage based reparations, not race. We don't want to hear no talk about no race based anything because anything race based will get shot down as we clearly see. But we need our lineage based reparations or just don't worry about me voting for you because I'm not going to vote for you. But the Democrats, they would, they would have to do lineage based reparations for me to vote for them because as of right now, I am, my vote for them is on a permanent hiatus until something drastic happens where I say, okay, I'll go vote for them. Now, if it's a per- person I know that's a Democrat that, and they actually go fight for the community, let's say Dr. Candace Matthews, she's a Democrat, but I know she fights for the community and she cares about black people. But if you ain't that kind of person that's a Democrat, and I don't know your work like that. I don't know you personally. No, I won't vote for you. Not just blindly. No, I would have to know you personally, know your work for me to vote for you for a Democrat. It's just that simple. These people are freaking racist and y'all, and y'all have to understand that. Look at y'all talking about Biden and Trump. Trump didn't do no 94 crime bill. Did he? Biden is the one authored that bill to mass incarcerate black people who had a medical condition. Go see what it was. They people, where's the crime bill now for all these white people out here with, that got fentanyl and all this heroin and all that. Where's the crime bill for that? Why you ain't scooping them up like you did black people. These people are using it in public and they, and they making laws where, where they're not even criminalizing them in some of these places, letting them do it. But when black people was crack, oh no, 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 no. We gotta, we gotta lock you up. It's based off, and that's all the Democrat party. When it comes to black people, Democrats don't got no problem with no law and order. You mean when they were talking about defunding the police? The Democrats want to fund the police. Biden said he gonna fund them, fund them, fund them, fund them. That's what he said. Didn't want to pass the George Floyd bill and they had the majority in the House and the Senate. And they conned y'all again, trying to blame Kristen Sinema and, and Joe Manchin. Try to con y'all about the filibuster and the filibuster is a rule. It's not a, anything in the constitution. They got rid of the filibuster when they did the agent hate crime bill though. They can get rid of whatever they want to get rid of it. When it comes to you, oh, we don't have 60 people, so we can't do the George Floyd. We can't codify your voting rights because we ain't got enough people. Hey, get back out there and put, give us 60. Why? So give you 60 so you can give everything to everybody else like you're doing now? No. But I'm glad our people is, is starting to wake up. I'm so glad they are starting to wake up every single day to, to the, the tricks of the Democrat party. And once you free yourself from that and really say, Hey, it's going to be more about tangibles for black people. It's not about nothing else, but tangibles. Then you truly free politically because at any black person right now, like Boulay Martin or whatever, you better get out there and vote Democrat. You think you go get reparations uh, with Republicans? We ain't getting it with Democrats. So, so, so it's the same thing. Like, what are you talking about? They put up HR 40. You think the Republicans are going to do HR 40? Y'all didn't do HR 40. Y'all didn't do it. When y'all had the, the freaking majority. I hate, like I say, that's like, you can't point everything at freaking Republicans when y'all had a majority. You had a, a Democrat president and you had a Senate and you had a, a house and you didn't do anything. Same thing with, with when Obama first got in office. The first two years Obama was in office, his whole party was running everything. And he didn't do nothing for black people either. 
So y'all can miss me with that Republican talk. What they not going to do what y'all didn't do. And you had the black vote and the black vote is going to decline every single year for two reasons. One, your biggest voter uh, block, the, the boomers and all of them, they passing away. That's happening. So that's voters that's going away for you. Number two, now you got to deal with us. And we saying we need lineage based reparations. See the boomers lived off of the uh, civil rights bill. That's why they are loyal to you. We don't, we don't live off of that. We need reparations, lineage based reparations, period. Or you just start losing every election. You're going to start seeing your, your voter base dwindle. You're going to lose elections and then you're going to be mad. And of course you're going to call black people names. Well, that's fine. We're used to that. Okay. We actually used to that from you, but I, but I, but I'm watching every day how y'all starting to, to scramble scurry. And, 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 and I want to see y'all tank because you will always keep tanking. If you don't do right by black people. And even, and, and I don't I won't even say all people in the, in the civil rights generation either, because when I start speaking to them, a lot of them are starting to wake up too and realize the error in their ways. They starting to see things that agree with us that they need reparations. That they need some help too. They watching all they, th- when I tell them like, Oh, look, all that money Biden them sending all over the place. But what about you and your community? What you need? You're not getting anything. And then I say, yeah, I'm not getting nothing. So even some of our, our elders are waking up. Some of them are, and that's good. I, I mean, Hey, be- I always say better late than never, better late than never. But the Democrats, like I said, they are the real racist. Don't ever let nobody uh, tell you they not. Don't ever let them scurry their way out. They are the original clan members of America. They, they were, and they are still to this day. These people always show their hand, always and black people do something on their own and actually think for ourselves.